Heads or tails? Win or lose? Is investing in the stock market nothing more than a gamble? Or is there a way to predict the ups and downs of the markets? Ernst Abelein wants to answer those questions. His area of expertise is probability. He says math can't predict the future, but not everything comes down to chance. You can develop a model that works out the probability of certain market movements. That alone is useful information. The current financial crisis has been blamed on too many risky investment decisions. Eberlein says the crash could have been averted through the application of mathematical logic. But logic fell foul of human greed. We have no physical organ that flags up risks. The only way of making them visible and manageable is by using models and mathematical methods. It's not the first time the markets have fallen into disrepute. In days gone by, they were considered gambling dens, frequented by opportunists and hustlers. It was in Paris at the turn of the 20th century that a young mathematician named Louis Bachelier first developed a theory of speculation. He compared historical data on share prices with random naturally occurring events, such as the way powdered milk dissipates in coffee. He argued that randomly fluctuating share prices also develop trends, in the same way milk spreads in a cup over a period of time. It was a revolutionary theory, but its full value wasn't recognized for decades. It was a big step. It led to the direct introduction of precise mathematical methods in the study of finance. Then as now, the volatility of share prices remains a headache for investors. Risk is everywhere. Airlines want protection against rising fuel prices. Car manufacturers want protection against turbulence on currency markets. And that's why banks offer their customers a risk management service. And that works on the basis of formulas developed by financial mathematicians. Success in business depends on being able to calculate the right price for new shares. Professor Abelein says that only complex models can capture the increasingly specialized reality of the markets. But he says not every banker has mastered the new tools. Understanding the way markets have evolved in the recent past is very challenging intellectually. It takes a lot of effort to comprehend what's happened and to keep up with the changes. I have no doubt that people have been lax in performing that task. In the wake of the crisis, mathematicians are asking new questions. How can you take account of the human factor in pricing formulas? What happens when there's a loss of trust between business partners? Do prices have to rise or fall for trading to resume? This area, which is known as behavioral finance, has not been given enough attention. I think when the dust has settled on this crisis, a lot of people will spend a lot of time looking very closely at these psychological aspects. Louis Bachelier died before his ideas could have an impact on the markets. Ernst Eberlein says that today, as then, math can point the way to mastering the complexities of the financial markets.